people. People have always fascinated me. Some are sane, some are insane. Most are somewhere in between. They curl before TV sets like Oxford commas, eyes on fire with lies and state-sponsored true crime horror stories, people shot dead for walking in the sunlight. The sun cares not for our human endeavors. Its rays shine down upon the earth no matter what we do or think. Though it is very likely that someday it will tire of mankind and implode. Gravity lies to everyone, even you. In space, no one can hear your voice commands or when you scream with frustration when your battery runs out. No one can hear you live or die, so did you ever live and die in the first place? Sir Isaac Newton believed he proved the existence of gravity, but all he proved was that gravity probably exists. Just like something beyond the universe probably exists, but no one can say so with great certainty. Your mind is made of matter, mad atoms bouncing backwards. Your mind is a universe of sparking synapses. You'll be amazed by what you can do if you put your mind to it. I used to believe in mindless things. Selfish things too, but mostly mindless things. I believe they would help me escape this world's chaotic nature. I quickly learned otherwise. I learned the hard way, but I still learned nonetheless. I learned to keep my mouth shut and my mind open. The mind, the mind wanders, the mind drifts. My mind wanders and drifts. I lost my keys in a moment of madness. With no one to talk to, my mind eats itself and shits out cells, but there's nothing that matter with my brain matter. It only matters if they love you. Love seems to be the one thing that binds every other thing. That's what I've noticed. Love broke my bones and I laughed, but I didn't learn much and so I fell in love again. I fell in love with myself and the world I live in. Then I fell in love with a woman. She had snakes in her hair and ice in her veins. Or was it the other way around? Either way, snakes and ice were involved. The snakes ate their own tails. The icebergs melted and bounced off the hulls of cruise liners. People swam and sank and disguised themselves as women and children. The very next day, the finger pointing began. All fingers pointed at humanity. Judges judged and passed sentences. Jailers waited for death beside their inmates, taking one last stand for democracy. They cut each other down with barbed tongues until the only thing left was the music. The music morphed into something unrecognizable yet familiar. It inspired everyone to jump on their feet and move like they never had before. Then the music died and we died with it. That left only nothing, a gentle abyss that stole the light and killed time by tearing down the calendars. I used to abide by calendars. Now they frighten me. They frighten me more than an ignorant, ignorant cult leader. Well, almost. I've noticed that they always need help putting bullets through their heads, and so I never signed up or drank the Kool-Aid. There are far too many self-important people in positions of power. Seems like everyone is scrambling to become holier than thou. What's wrong with being perfectly imperfect? What's wrong with being human? Nothing.